simplest object imaginable. A rock. Suppose, though, this rock weren't from the planet Earth, but from the moon. Then, it would be priceless. And more likely than not, it would be in here. The Lunar Sample Building here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. The six Apollo missions to the moon brought back a total of 842 pounds of rock. To keep their scientific value, they must remain completely uncontaminated by anything from Earth. The air in this room is carefully filtered to clean it of dust and bacteria. It's probably about the purest air on Earth. But even this air would eventually affect the rock, so they're kept in this box containing nitrogen, a gas which has no effect at all on them. By putting on these special gloves, you can reach inside to handle, but not to touch. Rocks from the moon. The first chance human beings have ever had to do more than just look at a heavenly body. Studying them has already given scientists new insights into the origin of the moon, the earth, and the solar system itself. And the work is still in its earliest stages. No one today can possibly predict all the secrets that will someday be learned from the rocks. But one thing is certain, they are very, very valuable. The cost of collecting them and bringing them back to Earth makes them worth over $180,000. An ounce. To pick up this rock from the surface of the moon and to bring it back to Earth took a national commitment to the exploration of space.